Buongiorno and welcome friends to the first episode of Gourmet Cooking with Veronica. I am your host, Veronica. <laughs> Today is Sunday and that means we have a wonderful lined up gourmet dining for all of you to enjoy. I know everybody's been stuck inside and you're wondering what can I prepare for my family that is gourmet? I want you to have no fear because I am about to show you how I... We're going to head to my kitchen now and get ready and I will show you guys... Can you hear my Italian music playing? I will show you guys some gourmet recipes. Are you excited, Gracie? I have prepared a menu of what we're going to do for Sunday. Are you ready to see? Today we are going to have for breakfast homemade brown sugar oatmeal. The 50 to 60 second cook time, that varies, it varies. Oh, I was wondering what was on here. That's supposed to be oatmeal. I drew that for you all. For lunch we're going to have organic mac and cheese. Cook times do vary, I already said that. Dinner, we're going to have spaghetti and meatballs. That's what this is right there. And for dessert, we have premium ice cream after each meal. One scoop. We are first going to start with the homemade brown sugar oatmeal. What you would want to do first is grab your, your oatmeal. I've had these oats curing overnight for about three hours. And they are ready. And I understand that maybe a lot of you don't have the tools needed to create such fine pieces of art. So I'm going to show you a little trick. This is going to be very, very fancy. First we're going to take the packet. We're going to slowly tear off the top. And you see the packet? Dump it into your bowl. I wanted to film that. Anyway, what you do if you don't have measuring cups like so, like this person here, you fill your little packet to the two-thirds line. We have poured the milk. It is much better if you don't use water and you use fat-free milk instead. Now we shall pour into the bowl. You want to get it all around. It is very important to do it like so. That was probably a little too much. Now we stir it around very well, very well. Oh, hello, friend! It should have an appearance not like this. This is too... Please hold! What I have done is I have dumped some of the excess milk out, so this is what your bowl should look like. Let's get all the oats. We don't want any stragglers. There we go. Oh dear. Oh goodness. There we go. Now it looks ready to be prepared. It is very important to note what your microwave timing is. It was, it was, um, wait a second. It was 50 to 60 seconds. I have put it in for far too long. Clear. Please, 50. Oh, no? Okay. We'll do 30 and 30, and then that's pretty much six, 50 seconds. That's right. That's right. While you're waiting, you can clean out the sink that you've made a mess of. There we go. And stick it back in its boat angle. And off we go. Aha! It's a little hot. It's a little hot, so grab yourself your your oven mitt and reach up with your free hand. No, you know what? Don't do that. Reach up with your right hand that you actually use and Jeez, oh, I can't get it. Actually, just forget the oven mitt and just grab it. All right. Let's see. Wow! <laughs> I must say, 
we did better than we had expected. That is exactly the texture you probably don't want your oatmeal, but it looks good, right? I'm sure, I'm sure after a good stirring, we'll have what we're looking for here. Oh yes, much better, much better. And now we are going to add in some butter. Stir that butter very well with your fork. Wow, that's the best looking oatmeal I've ever seen. Ouch, hot. And now I think it is time to give it a go. It's marvelous. It's perfection. It is it is perfecto. It is perfecto. It was beautiful. If you can take your oatmeal and pick it up with a fork like this, you've done something right. Let me know how it worked for you at home. That was so good. Now that should be your most fanciest meal of the day, breakfast. So you change out of your dress and now you move along onto lunch. Do not worry about writing down all of this because I will have all of this saved to my Instagram. If you follow me at One Man's Dream, you will see all these recipes will be there for you. Now it is dessert for breakfast desserts. For dessert after breakfast, we have gourmet Mickey Mouse ice cream. All you do is take one bite after each meal to cleanse the palate. It has little Mickeys in it. So good. Up next we have our organic macaroni and cheese. I should be letting you know the calories along the way. So let's pull this out here. Oh dear. Oh goodness. Breakfast was only 140 calories. Add that little bit of butter and that little splash of milk, you're at 230. And now it is time to prepare lunch. Lunch will be 220 calories and what you want to do, oops, almost lost it off the counter. What you want to do is take the top off, remove this fiddle faddle, and just like the oatmeal, you have yourself a fancy fill line. It is very important to let the water pour in slowly and shake every few seconds. Once you have your water in to the fill line, or almost, you want to stir all that around because that white fluffy stuff inside there is meant to be there and will help us along the way. Okay, we have our cook time. Two minutes. Woo! Almost dropped it again. And since I don't know exactly how to work this, we're going to do like that. Oh, too much, too much. One, two, not too much. Wait, one, two, wait, I'm not clearing, clear. One, two, two minutes, there we go, around it goes. While lunch is preparing, you can wash your dishes from breakfast. I want you to also remember to take your vitamin. I do believe that the flavor of which vitamin you choose will affect the rest of your day. So today we have chosen this little character here. It's so good. It's so good. Now I always say garbage disposals are the best. There we go. All right. And let's see what we got. It doesn't look cooked at all. Like at all. Some. Please hold. What we have learned here is that we do not follow all the directions on the boxes. What we have learned here from this is that sometimes we have to improvise. Next thing you want to do is take your packet that has been provided, tear it open, oh dear, and get powder all over your camera. Don't do this, don't, don't do everything I do. There we, there we go. And now, and now we will stir this in. I get the powder off our hands. And now what we do, the next thing we do is we take this from organic mac and cheese and we make it no longer organic. Oh goodness. And we make it no longer organic by adding in a dab of non-organic 
extra sharp cheddar cheese, but you can use any cheese you prefer. That's where we're at now. This is your organic mac and cheese for lunch. Let's try it. It's very well, very well. You can just taste the organicness inside of it. I honestly can't even tell that the other cheese wasn't organic. That's how good it is. We do have some crunchy noodles in there. A little odd, but it's for texture. Things are about to get very serious in here because dinner is now. Now for dinner, I want you to be really prepared here. Okay, dinner time. I have my favorite apron and we are about to... It's my favorite, obviously, I know how to use it. So what you want to do is take your apron, tie it around you. There we go. Aha! Well, no, it's my favorite. I know many of us don't have the right tools. It takes very minimal kitchen utensils for these meals that I am preparing for you. Oh dear. Please hold. Now you really don't want to use the pull tab. If it starts to get a little frustrating, you might as well just use oh, the pull tab. Look at the meatballs. Wow. You can tell those were hand rolled. Now I'm going to start making the noodles. They're going to be um, very, very hard to do. All right, I think we're almost ready. We're almost ready. That was very hard to prepare. Wow. Wowee. <laughs> Listen to the sound. That is how you know they're premium. Aha! Oh, so many inside the can. Wow. One minute, 30 seconds. While you've got that going on, I want you to grab your wine glass. You deserve this. You deserve this after all of the cooking you've just done for your family. Oops. Oh, it says good. That's very good. Oh dear, since we do not have a um, cover for our, our plates and bowls, which you should have already, which I forgot to buy at the store, it should be ready. Oh dear. Do not destroy your microwave. Now I'm going to have to clean that. Hot bowl. We have forgotten our dessert from after um, lunch. How foolish. It's so cold. This is some premium, premium action we have. Don't get too crazy. Time to go in for the first bite. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I have never made it homemade before. We're gonna try it. Delicioso. Delicioso for sure. So good. Excelente. I'm not gonna lie, actually the meatballs are pretty good. There's nothing better than a nice cherry vanilla Coke Zero and the finest Italian food. I don't know that cleanup's going to be too easy here because we've had so many ingredients out. But we're going to find out right now. Oh, cleanup. Oh, I just dropped my phone. Did it crack? No, it did not. I hope you all enjoyed the probably last episode of Veronica Gourmet Kitchen. I had a lot of fun making this beautiful piece of art you have just witnessed if this is the first video you're watching from this channel i apologize anyway if you're new i would still love it if you subscribed and came on our adventures with us and if you enjoyed this video give it a little thumbs up if you didn't i don't know what to tell you that's this channel and leave me a comment and i will try my best to get back to you we have a lot more story left to tell I didn't need this flower. All right, come give me a hug goodbye. All right, you ready to go? Yep, you got everything you need.
I think so. All the essentials. All the essentials. Just, just come give me a hug goodbye. I gotta get All out right. of here. I don't well, feel right. good, so I don't want to get too in your Oh, face. be careful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sneaking nothing out this time. You can trust no. me, okay? Yeah. Don't worry, I would never sneak anything out. I don't know if she's impressed with it. I think she is. Are you impressed? Are you impressed? Oh, Gracie, no, over here. No, Gracie, wrong way, come on. There is a fossil digging <laughs> sand pit for everyone. Or it's a litter box for stray cats. It is so beautiful out and, I, and the sun is shining and it's so warm and I don't have to wear a coat. I don't have to wear a winter coat and I don't have to wear my winter hat and everything's happy, and my car looks happy, and my doggy looks happy. Down, down, and I drew you around just a little bit, because he didn't act that, because I ain't no holla back to run. Heavy, there's vomit on a sweater already. I'm so happy to be here. I love it. There's palm trees everywhere. There's happiness. There's blue skies. There's clouds. There's smiles. Well, I haven't seen any smiles. Well, mine, and Gracie's smiling. This says checkpoint ahead. So we, never mind, we are getting checked. All right, we are definitely getting checked, all of us. Um, let's see. This song reminds me of Olive Garden. <laughs> COVID-19 checkpoint ahead one mile, all vehicles, right lane. Okay, so we're getting redirected into the wait station and then up here you can see all the officers are up here. I don't know if, I'm just gonna set you guys down in my lap. And there's some Gracie dog treats. Maybe you guys can look at those for a minute. Well, that was kind of uneventful. I mean, all that he wanted to know is where I traveled from. We're getting super close. Pretty soon we'll be coming up on a national monument. We're almost home, Gracie. We're almost home. <laughs> you smell that? You smell that? That's the Lynx buses. What up with stuff? had the opportunity to meet and work with a lot of wonderful people. I only hope that we never lose sight of one thing, that it was all started by a mouse. Now that's why I want this part of the